And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, with week five of the Alaska University Dynasty, the home of the Mountaineers, as today we're going to go take on last year's closest game, a 7-3 battle, as uh, they scored in the early first quarter, uh, a touchdown, and then we kicked a field goal late in the third, and could not battle back to get our first win ever during that week, but it's time to head to New Mexico State as you can see the statistics on the left and right of both teams overall obviously they're better because we're the worst team in NCAA history we're coming off of a horrific loss to Fresno State nonetheless and two wins in week one and two in our little revenge tour against FCS East and Canada County but now we're going to go ahead and go to nice beautiful New Mexico I want to say Albuquerque but I don't know for sure um, oh, Jamil Wilkins, the freshman free safety, has violated some team rules. Uh, mandatory workout sessions. Ooh, oh, whoa. Why is the NCAA team interest so high? What do we do? Um, do we give him. He missed a couple things. Um, I don't know. I'm scared why the interest is so high. Um, I'll give him two games just to get the uh, NCA off our back. Man, they're always trying to take our money and our players and stuff. We're going to go ahead and go with the alternate twos for this away game. Georgia Tech 3-4 as normal. And uh, we're going to go ahead and hop in this game. As you can see, Wilkins is out. Doesn't get a lot of tackles, but he's still out. Stewart has three receiving touchdowns. Gas with two interceptions. Enrique Hernandez has 14 tackles. We are 106 national rank, not last. They're 96th. We are 10 spots away, but they have a good passing team, as you can see. Uh, two defensive touchdowns as well. 948 passing yards, 377 receiving yards for another receiver named White. Last time we went against a receiver named White, it was at Fresno State, and he cooked us for a punt return, two receiving touchdowns, and I think in 100-plus yards easily. All right, the Mountaineers are going to go ahead and kick this one away. Jackson's going to get a good foot on it, but the win is coming back. So it's not a very good kick as Anderson, the 5'11 freshman, is down there to make the tackle. Not 5'6", not 5'8". I know I'm messing up a lot, but let's see what we can do as the first drive of the game is going to get underway. We're going to line up here with Hernandez, and we're going to bring the outside pressure as it's a wreck snap to Baker. As Baker runs up the middle and is tracked down from behind. Second and four now for New Mexico State as they're coming out with three wide receivers to the right. As they're going to motion one to the left. It's going to be a pass play. We're blitzing again. Deep ball. Just overthrown. Very lucky there. You heard the sigh of disappointment as I thought we were going to give a, a, a touchdown super early in the game. But it's now third and four. We're going to see what we can do. Third and four. And we're going to see what we can do here. If we can hold them and try to get points up early as Lar Larkins is so close to a sack. Does not get it. But the ball is going to be batted down by I believe McClendlin over there on the right side. First and 10 ball at the 25 yard line. And we're going to start with a toss. We're going to have two lead blockers as there's nowhere to really go. But Barber's going to be able to fall forward after a short gain and get about a gain of two. You can see our total offense is the worst in the NCAA as we're going to come out on this second and eight. Block Johnson and pass the ball as we're going to be looking. We're going to have Jones on the in route. And he's not going to be able to get there as Hurd's going to overthrow him. And it's now going to be third and eight. Third and eight now is we're going to line up to pass the ball once again, but this time in shotgun formation as we're going to drop back to pass. We have Jones open. Ball's going to be caught as there was two Mountaineers in the area. We're throwing to Jones, and that's the one who caught it for a 14-yard gain and a first down for the Mountaineers. First and ten now, and they're bringing up the safeties. We're going to go ahead and drop back into a pass play here. As I didn't know it was going to be shotguns, so that kind of messed everything up as they put the safeties back. We're going to call hike anyway. We're looking. We're looking. We're going to dump it off to Barber. Short as he's going to make the grab. Be hit hard, but hang on for about a gain of three or four. Third and six, and we're calling double slants. As there's Jones as the ball is just overthrown. Now it's going to be fourth down for the Mountaineers. After the punt, it is now first and ten on a play-action pass. Pressure is hot. Deep bomb down. <laughs> just missed. It was a deep bomb down the sideline, and the pass was just underthrown or overthrown, it looked like, as that's going to be a second and ten now. First and second and ten, excuse me, as they're going to throw the little bubble. As Green is going to make the big hit on Johnson for he might have been lucky to get back to the line. Third and nine is a quick pass to White as... 
There was no one on him. I didn't even know he was open. I was looking at my user, and that's going to be a touchdown for the New Mexico State Aggies, and that's going to be the first one of the game, as well as the first points as their cannon is going to go off, and they're going to go up 7-0. to zero. First and 10, balls in the 29. They're going to run counter to Barbara as there's nowhere for him to go as he's going to get back to the line of scrimmage, and it's going to be second down. Looking for the slants again as Stewart's going to be open. He's gonna, the ball's going to be batted at the line and tipped up through the air. And Stewart's still going to be able to make the grab as it's going to be his first catch of the game for 14 yards. And another first down. First and 10 with the ball on the 42 as we're going to go Barber again as he's going to be able to fall forward this time for a couple more yards. Second and seven, we put the speedy freshman Anderson in as he's going to catch the toss. He's going to get to the corner, get the first down, and almost inside the 40 as he's going to go down around the 43-yard line. Possibly a little deja vu action as after the end of one, the Aggies are up 7-0 to zero on the Mountaineers. First and ten with the ball on the 43 as we're going to go handoff again to Barbara's. Barber's going to get brought down from behind. All I saw was green grass, and I was not ready to be taken down after only a yard. I was not ready for Barber to be tackled at all. I was ready. I had so much green field in front of me, and I was ready to just run for a touchdown. As we're going to try to dump this one off to Stewart, as hurt as his, he throws, and the ball is going to fly like a duck and luckily not be intercepted there by the outside linebackers. It's not going to be third and eight. Third and eight is going to drop back to pass again. Hurd's going to try to scramble out to buy some time as he's going to be brought down around the 50, and it's going to be fourth down for the Mountaineers as uh, they're in a bit of a predicament. It might be too far to go for it, but it, they are on the other half of the 50. Looks like Coach Tompy is going to play the field position game here as he's going to try to give his boys a better shot as they're going to punt this one away with the wind to their backs as it's a good kick. They have a lot of blockers down. White might have some room here if he breaks a tackle as he does as White's going to be gone as he broke a ta two tackles, I believe, and this is going to walk into the end zone on the punt return. And it's going to be a New Mexico State touchdown. Should have went for it. At least we would put our defense on the field. But nonetheless, because we punted, it's now going to be 14-0 New Mexico State. First and 10. And we're going to put Anderson back in after the kickoff return and give him another toss play. As He's going to get around the edge. He's going to cut up field. Let's see if Anderson has the speed as there's a man catching him. He breaks a tackle down the sideline. And we're going to be inside the red zone as Anderson's going to take the toss play all the way down the field for a 40-yard plus run. It flex on the crowd, do a little bow, and it's going to be first down inside the red zone. As look at this run, cuts the corner, uses his speed. This boy Anderson, as a senior in a couple years, might be one of the best players as his speed just tops everyone, even this New Mexico State defense. We're looking for the counter to the right. I don't like what we see. We're going to go ahead and audible this one out. We're going to go to the dive. We're going to look for that. The dive up the gut to Barber as we're going to see if we can get a block as he does. As he can tripped up and fall forward and it's going to be third and one, possibly third and inches. Third and inches for the Mountaineers as we're looking to give it to Stanley on the fullback dive. Is nowhere to go. He didn't even have a hole or anything to go through. And it's he's going to lose two yards. It's going to be fourth and two now for the Mountaineers. Last year, this was one of the only plays we ran out of this formation. Uh, that and any other run plays, but this is the only pass play we ran. Slants with eight blockers on this fourth and two. We're going to drop back to pass. Stewart open in the end zone. Touchdown, Mountaineers. As it's going to be 14 to seven now on the 10 yard reception to Stewart. What a grab! Almost overthrown, but he went up and got it over his shoulder. And we're going to go ahead and ask Reed to put this one through to try to make it seven to 14. And hopefully the Mountaineers can sort some kind of morale and comeback and we can win this game as it's going to be up and good. Reed's going to put it through and it's going to be 14 to 7 with a minute and 8 seconds in the second quarter. First and 10, they're coming out with four wide receivers and one tight end as we're going to blitz off the edge here with Larkins as he's going to try to spin. Can't. Gaddis is going to put a big hit down there on Johnson coming across the middle for a three-yard gain and New Mexico State is going to take their first time out. Second and seven, balls on the 50-yard line. They're going to come out in the I formation. Play action fake, and Hernandez is already there. He went straight after the quarterback, Hayden, and brought him down for a four-yard sack, and this clock's going to tick. New Mexico State's going to go up in the hurry, in the no huddle, hurry up, no huddle, whatever it's called. Same thing as we're going to bring the same play again as he's going to throw a deep bomb as just over... Oh, it was so close to a pick, and Johnson's going to make the grab, and all that sack and the... 
tackle and every the pressure was for nothing as look look he just ah so close on the pick and that's gonna be a 20 yard completion for new mexico state in a first down first and 10 now with the ball in the 34 might just be out of field goal range as they're gonna drop back to pass once more as they're gonna throw it to the flats here and carter's gonna push taylor out of bounds second and nine now as we're gonna go ahead and man ourselves up on white here just kidding we're gonna blitz with hernandez the more pressure the merrier here we go Blitzing with Hernandez as he's not going to be able to get in there. The ball's going to be thrown underneath but knocked away. The hit's going to jar the ball loose. That's going to be a drop pass for Lacey as it's now third and nine for the Aggies. Third and nine with the ball on the 33 as Hayden's going to take the shotgun snap. Going deep. Todd is going to deflect the ball and swat it away and prevent a touchdown as it's now going to be Fourth and nine, and look at this. New Mexico State's going for it. Fourth and nine with the ball in the 33, just out of field goal range. As we're going to come out, and we're going to see if we can stop them on this. This is big and crucial. If we can stop them before half, it's going to be big. As pass to the end zone is going to be deflected by McCoy, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. Alaska is going to take the motivation, and they're going to have 23 seconds as well as all their timeouts to see if they can work anything down the field here. First and 10, if we don't get anything, we're just hoping not to turn the ball over as we're going to toss to Anderson. Anderson's going to have a couple blockers, and he's going to use his speed to get down the field. Anderson in a foot race down the sideline. is He's going to be tackled around the 23-yard line, and we're going to spam our timeout after a 44-yard run by Anderson. This freshman is electrifying. Look at this. He hits the edge, uses his 86 overall speed, as well as his 5'11 legs to run as 21's finally going to catch him from behind. First and 10, and we're going to give Anderson the ball one more time on another toss play. We're going to get a couple blocks. He's going to come up field, break a tackle, fall down, and we're going to use another timeout. Nine seconds left. We're in field goal range, so we just want to conserve the ball here. Maybe take one shot at the end zone and then kick our three. We're going for verticals. We're going for the end zone here as we got Stewart on the corner route. Gets across the line and breaks a plane, and we're going to get a touchdown before the half as Stewart has already two receiving touchdowns. Look at this backside shoulder. It was the safety had to choose. The cornerback came up to play Barber in the flats. The safety had to choose one, and I just threw it as quick as I could, and Stewart breaks the plane for a 17-yard touchdown, and we are about to tie this game against New Mexico State going in the half. All right, I just want to point out, that we just forced a fourth down, marched the ball down the field, like all the way down the field to score, and New Mexico State has all the motivation and um, like hype and stuff. Like, look at the top. You see how that bar is almost filled? That's like the motivation and um, the stuff like that. How is that almost filled? We just walk, marched down the field and and scored, and they have all the motivation. Because, uh, man, sometimes this game, I may love this game to death, but sometimes it does me like that. As we're going to try to wrap them up here and bring them down as the clock hits zero. At the end of two, 14 to 14, as the Mountaineers are looking to shock the WAC and win their first WAC game in existence. As they lost all their WAC games last year, as you may know, as well as all their games last season, and last year, and as well as last week, excuse me, they didn't win a game against Fresno State. So let's see what we can do is we're going to field this one. Anderson's going to get a short gain, and our offense is going to come back out on the field. 179 total yards, as well as no turnovers. For this Mountaineers offense, which is probably the best in a long time, as we're oh, they're starting to pick up on it. We're gonna we're gonna throw a toss to Anderson. They're starting to pick up on it, so the toss might not be as effective. Third and fourteen, and we got a long ways to go. As we're looking, we're looking, we're looking. We got Stewart a deep ball post across the middle, caught, but then the hit jars the ball loose. That was a big hit. Would have been a targeting in today's uh, age of football, but in 2000. 2008 really in 2008 that would have not as we're gonna go ahead and have to punt this one away as we're gonna hope our defense can hold them and keep this game close first and 10 now as they're gonna come out in a two halfback set in the shotgun as they're gonna look to pass here as Hayden has all day to throw throws across his body the opposite side of the field and that ball is gonna be knocked away looks like they're gonna go pass once more as they're gonna dump this one off to white he's gonna catch it right before the line and be brought down around the 50 yard line first and 10 now again for the Aggies as we're gonna line up in the three down linemen as they're gonna line up in the shotgun they're gonna hand it off to Baker again as he's gonna run right down the middle with great blocking and be tackled with about a gain of seven or eight 
Second and three, and uh, we're going to bring a little bit of pressure here. Five man is that Baker is going to be open down the sideline. Make McClendlin miss, and Gaddis is going to have to run all the way down to take him down as that's going to be another first down, and the Aggies are inside the red zone. First and ten now as they're looking to pass as they do as Carter's going to be out there can't make the tackle Todd can't make the tackle but Johnson's going to be forced to step out of bounds as it's now going to be second and five for the Aggies as they're going to inch closer to the end zone coming out in a 4-4 as we're going to see if we can hold the Aggies as they're going to throw the swing pass to Baker as Hernandez is going to out there and make the tackle for a loss and it's going to be fourth and eight they're probably going to kick the field goal let's see what they do yes they're going to kick the field goal and we're going to see if maybe we can get in there and get a hand on it because if we can and we can get a score, our defense is playing phenomenal football, we might be able to turn this game into a quick W for our Mountaineers as we're going to see if we can get in there with Johnson as we're going to put the pressure. No, we cannot. The kick is up and it is good, but it didn't have a lot of strong legs, so we can't kick far field goals. We know that for the future as it's going to be 17-14 to 14, New Mexico State. First and ten as we're going to hand this one up to, to Barbara. He's going to fall forward for about a gain of four. Third and eight as we're going to play action pass. As Hurd has pressure and cannot get the ball away and is sacked. As I may trust my defense, but our offense is still very rocky. As we're going to have to punt this one away now as it's fourth and extra long. The last play before the end of the third is going to come up in a shotgun set. Two running back set again. As they're going to call hike, they're looking to pass one again, not one more time again, as Johnson's going to make the tackle, and that's going to be the end of the third quarter, as it's going to be New Mexico State Aggies are up 17-14 to on our Mountaineers. Second and four, and they're coming out in the I formation, as they're looking to pass again. Definitely a big pass-heavy team, as he's going to step up in the pocket to make this pass to White. This is going to be another first down for the Aggies. First and ten with the ball in the 34, as they're going to throw it to the swing pass to Baker again. This is going to be met by two Mountaineers after about six yards. Second and four, as they're probably going to drop back to pass maybe one more time. Probably maybe the rest of the game, as that's all they've seemed to have been doing lately as they're going to do it again they're going to drop back to pass as hit as he threw as he avoided the sack and then hernandez is going to come in there and try to take him down as he's going to be hit as soon as he throws it's going to be an incomplete pass third and four and we had him right where we wanted him as they were able to get that pass away and it's now going to be first and ten inside the red zone as we're going to try to Force three here. Forcing three will give us a chance to win. A touchdown might just put this game just out of reach for the Mountaineers as they're going to use the clock to their advantage here to wind it down, use all those seconds as we're going to see if we can get something. An interception or not a touchdown was not what we're looking for as Nunez is going to catch the ball in the back of the end zone. That's going to be a touchdown for the Aggies as this game is, it looks like it might be out of reach unless our offense can put something on, but... It's going to be a close game nonetheless as they're going to go up 24 to 14. First and 10 as we're going to look for the toss play again. Kind of our bread and butter as we're going to try to get upfield and nowhere to go as Anderson is going to be lucky to get back to the line. Second and 10 and we're going to try to get this one off quickly. We don't have a lot of time and we're going to throw the... I meant to say slant to Stewart. I gotta look at who is what button because I forget. This game switches on what formation you're in. So now it's going to be 3rd and 10 with 2.10 left after that was an easy pass to Stewart there. As now we're going to have to drop back to pass and hopefully complete this one as we're looking. We're looking. We're going to throw it to Johnson, our tight end, as he's going to make the grab and double coverage. And that's going to be a first down as we're going to hurry the troops back to the line. And we're going to go ahead and call the same play. We're going to audible a little bit and see what we can do. All right, audibles are called as we're going to drop back to pass again. We're going to throw it to Stewart, but... Hurd is going to throw it right off the lineman's helmet as that was lucky that that was incomplete and wasn't just an interception or even worse, a sack as the time would have kept going. Second and 18 now as we're dropping back to pass. We're going to throw the slant to Stewart as he's going to make the grab and fall forward for the first down as we're going to hurry the troops one more time before we go ahead and use our first timeout, our second timeout to excuse me to give him a break as we're looking for the seam with Johnson as we're dropping back. No, but we have the slant as her Stewart, excuse me, is going to catch it for another first down. And the, it's going to be 
across the 50-yard line as we're getting inside New Mexico State territory. First and 10, and we have to give Stewart a break, so we're going to run a play. We're going to run the toss play as Anderson's going to fall forward. We're going to use another timeout here to stop the clock and give us a little bit more of a break. Excuse me, that was our first timeout. I thought we used one previously. I guess we did not, but it is now... Second and eight, and Jones is in for Stewart as we're looking to pass. We're going to throw it to Conley over the middle. He's going to make the grab and fall forward, but just be short of the first down. We're going to have to hurry the troops to the line. We're going to have to go and end the zone ball here soon and then kick the onside, but we don't really have a lot of time as we're going to go ahead and block Johnson, and we're looking for Jones on the streak because he's not open, but Hurd's going to be sacked, and it's going to make it fourth and long and now is we're going to use another timeout fourth and seven and we have nothing to lose as we're going to go for it here as we're going to call hike we're looking we're looking we got jones over the middle as the linebacker jumped and made a play as that's going to be a turnover and uh it's going to be new mexico state ball as it looks like all they have to do is just take a couple knees and this game's going to be over first and ten and our only chances here is to force a fumble to at least get another chance of scoring as going to go right up the gut to baker as it looks like this game is going to be over as no fumble was caused. We have one timeout left. We're going to use. We're going to see if we can if we can stop them, and force if we can force a fumble here. Not even stop them. If we stop them here, it doesn't really matter. We have to force a fumble. If we can force a fumble, this game will be over. Or uh, we have another shot, but it's going to be up to the fullback as Taylor is going to run and bully his way for five yards and. That's going to be the game. There's nothing we can do about it. No timeouts, and unless we force a hit stick, this is pretty much over. And that's going to be the end of the game. 24-14 to as the Aggies top the Mountaineers in this one. As it was not as close as it was last year, but we definitely saw more improvement on both sides of the ball. As that was a close game for our Mountaineers as the Aggies are going to come away with this one. Definitely one of our best games overall probably this season for a loss. Um, maybe the most balanced game we've had. 9 for 17 with 99 yards for Hurd with 2 touchdowns rushing. Anderson the freshman 8 attempts for 111 yards. Barber had 8 attempts for 20 yards and receiving Five receptions for 63 yards and two touchdowns. Barber was one for four. Conley was one for seven. Johnson was one for 11 there at a big time. Jones even hopped in with one for 14. Five tackles for the junior safety, Carter, as well as Hernandez has five tackles of his own. Two for loss and a sack. Gaddis was in there with four. Johnson had four as well as Jamil Johnson also had two as a not half bad stat line. For the boys is punting 139 yards on four punts not bad better than our average of 20 and that's going to go ahead and do it we're going to go ahead and head out i hope you guys enjoyed uh please comments you know tips tricks whatever you want uh soon near the end of the season we'll get a little storyline going for you guys to where you guys can be more involved we'll do a, a recruiting episode for you guys so that'll be interesting uh but nonetheless i hope you guys enjoyed see y'all later it's your boy drew Goodbye.